This video demonstrates how to test for lead-based paint using the D-Lead Paint Test Kit. Read and follow the instructions packaged with the kit. The D-Lead Test Kit is EPA recognized. It can detect the presence of lead in paint to levels as low as 400 parts per million or 0.04% by weight. The D-Lead Test Kit uses one simple procedure for all paint colors and substrates, including plaster, wood, drywall, and ferrous metals. No additional time is required to test for lead chromate commonly found in red, yellow, orange, and green paints. Each test kit comes complete with everything you need to run a test, including a sample catch tray, paint test solutions 1 and 2, a razor blade, a de-wipe towel, and a scoring tool. In this video, we test the paint on a wood window frame. Solution 2 is the active component of the test kit and can be affected by age and storage conditions. Prior to testing, place a drop of Solution 2 onto a new verification test strip. An immediate color change to black confirms Solution 2 is working properly. Use a de-wipe towel to clean the sample area and your tools for the most accurate test results. Remove one sample catch tray from the pad and fold along the lines to make a tray. For vertical surfaces, use the adhesive edge and attach the catch tray directly below the sample area to catch all of the sample paint chips. Sample size is important to the accuracy of the test. It is essential that all of the paint within the circle scribed by the scoring tool is collected and used in the test. Hold the sharpened edge of the scoring tool against the surface to be sampled. Score a circle through all the paint layers to the substrate by twisting and applying pressure. Scrape any remaining paint within the circle, removing all the paint layers. An alternate scoring method is to tap the scoring tool with a hammer. If any of the sample remains in the scoring tool, use the cleaning rod to push it out onto the catch tray. When testing horizontal surfaces, use the same sampling method. Use the sample catch tray as a dust pan to collect all the paint chips. Pour the entire paint sample into a fresh bottle of Solution 1. Make sure all of the sample is transferred to the Solution 1 bottle, even if the sample has broken into multiple pieces. Cap and shake for 10 seconds. Set the bottle aside for at least two minutes to allow Solution 1 to penetrate the paint sample. Next, add five drops of Solution 2, cap and shake. To check if EPA-regulated lead-based paint is not present, hold the bottle up to a white background and look through the viewing window, comparing the test solution to the test standard printed on the bottle. If the test solution is darker than the test standard, the test is positive and lead-safe work practices are required. If the test solution is lighter than the test standard, wait 10 minutes. Then, shake the bottle and compare to the test standard again. If the solution is clear, no lead was detected. The addition of Solution 2 may cause the solution to have a yellow tint, but this is not an indication of lead present. Any color change to brown is an indication of lead. If the test solution is lighter than the test standard, EPA-regulated lead is not present. If the test solution is darker or the same color as the test standard, lead-safe work practices are required. For Wisconsin renovators, any color change to brown is a positive test and lead-safe work practices are required. Make sure you tightly cap Solution 2 after each use. After testing is complete, place the used de-wipe towel package and sample catch tray into the waste disposal bag provided. Add the used bottle of Test Solution 1. The absorbance in the bag will neutralize the test solutions and bind the lead for safe disposal as non-hazardous waste. 
Wipe down the sample test area with the de-wipe towel to clean any remaining residue off the surface. Next, place the de-wipe towel and your disposable gloves in the waste bag. After you've used all the tests in the kit, place the Solution 2 bottle into the waste disposal bag as well. A digital copy of an EPA compliant record keeping form is available at www.escatech.com. For more information, please contact Escatech.